episode on Photoshop tips. Today we're going to learn blending with different colors in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC, but it works with any other Photoshop. And it's a little different than Paint to Sci or Corel Painter, because this one doesn't have a blending brush per se. You have to blend using some keys or some tools. So I'm going to show you. First you create a new layer. If you want to draw in the background, that's okay as well, but I recommend a new layer. And grab a normal round brush. Let me see the name. Yeah, it's heart round. That's the name of this brush. So I grab this brush and I put 100% opacity, 100% flow with all of these things deactivated. And this is just for the purpose of this exercise, but you'll see. Why. For example, with this round brush you can get like very strong color blobs. Yeah, it doesn't have any blurry edges. And what I do then is I grab perhaps a, a blue. And now you have your two different colors. And if you try to do this and do this and do this, it won't mix because you have a hundred in both opacity and flow. But what we're going to do is learn how to mix it with many different brushes. You can have your own custom brush. And well, I would recommend you get your own custom brush because they're fun to use. You can also Google blending brushes. That also works. So now we have this for the purpose of our exercise. I'm going to join them together in one layer. Probably block the other one. Block, sorry, not block. And I'm going to grab a different brush. But first, I'm going to show you what you can do. You can play around with the opacity and the flow. Really, you have to, to choose how much you want in the person. That's up to you. So what you do is you click Alt, ALT. And you see this happens with the eyedropper tool. You can also find it here. And as you can see, if I leave it there, it will say I. So if you wanted to choose the eyedropper, you just click I like this, but it's much better to have B, which is your brush, and just click off, easy. So you do this and you click the orange button, the, the orange color, sorry, and it appears here in your color swatches, and then you start painting. As you can see with my opacity and my flow as they are, it doesn't paint completely that color. It kind of mixes in with the background. And now you can see what's happening here. It becomes a little green. So what you do now is select the one in the middle and try to like you see what happens. You're painting it together. You keep grabbing the different colors until you mix them. With this brush it's a little harder to get it completely fine. But, you can play around with the opacity and the flow until you get it. There's so, so many ways of blending. This is just the way I do it. So don't worry if this is not the way you want it. It's just one more way. It's not the only way. It's very helpful. Though. So now you can see it's blended with this brush. But it looks a little hard edge. And I don't really like it. Well, you can also do is grab the soft Soft round pressure steps. Well, oh, okay. it's called soft round. But if you have it, it's the default in Photoshop, so you don't really need to get one on. You can see what happens again. This is green. Almost. And I think you already blended it. It's a very magical blending <laughs> kind of effect. So you see, this is hard, this is soft. And now we're going to use uh, maybe custom brushes. So I have it like this, but you can choose to watch it, I don't know, like you know how to do this stroke thumbnail. If you do that, they will show up like this, so you can see how they look when you mix them. 
it's fun to see how they work. So, in this case, I'm just gonna leave it the way it was, because that's how I use it. You click this little thing here, and I choose small thumbnail or large thumbnail, for example. This is going to be large, because the small one, I just can't see it. No! <laughs> this, this is the one, okay. So we're going to use a custom brush. I've downloaded many brushes over the years. This is not mine. This was made, I think, by Vicolate on the Viantar. She's awesome, by the way. I will write her name over. So, you grab the same thing, same color, and paint until you cannot see the edge. And then go same. If it takes a while, it's because it's laggy, but normally, normal computers can do it faster than one. Normally, normal computer brush. Right, so you see what happens then, right? You've seen it in the other ones. And, for example, you can grab the brush you were using before, the soft one, and try to soften or join the edges with two brushes instead of just one, so you get an even more interesting effect, example, like this. You see? Now it looks quite different from the top one. And it looks better, in my opinion, that's the best one. But I'm biased because I really like that brush. I'm gonna type her name, well, not type, just write her name soon, and the other brush I have for you is from Nebesile, or however you pronounce his name. He's also on DeviantArt and he has such incredible comics and style. I'll show you later. He made this blending brush. I believe this one is his. It could not be his, but he, he made so many that I really enjoyed. But I'm just going to use this, okay? So you go on your layer and repeat the same process. By now you should be familiar with how it feels. This is a specific blending brush, so it will blend quite nicely because it was made for this. You can even mix in the background color for a better effect. So you see, this is a blending brush, so it looks amazing. It's around me! Okay, but now what happens if you want to mix in the background? You just do this. You can grab the color even if you are on the top layer, you see, we're not here on this layer. We're not using this, we're on top. But we can still grab the blue color. You can paint on top of your figure, and the more you layer it, the bluer it will become. And then you can just have fun repainting it, copying the color, you know, and such. So, have fun experimenting with different brushes. I usually just grab the ones I find on the internet or the ones that come with Photoshop, which are many. I would recommend the blending brushes, especially if you want to shade something and make it look like a painting. If you want to do cell shading, which is a kind of, mm, I don't know, like anime look, it won't work for that, but it still looks good if you want to detail something or just blend the colors together not using the smudge tool. I will show you right now the smudge tool. It's... many of you are probably familiar with it, it's a finger. And what it does, it kind of blends the colors together as you can see. It does it for you, like... You see? It looks good, I'm not saying it looks bad. But the problem with it is that if your Photoshop is like mine, and it's a little laggy, it will take a while, for example, if you do this, you see how long it takes for it to re react. And it doesn't look so natural. And if you, I don't know, if you rely too much on this tool, you're probably missing so much you can do with normal blending brushes. So I encourage you guys to take the time and learn how to blend with Photoshop or any other tool you have. And have fun making your own designs and colors and everything. This has been all for this episode. If you like it, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you guys for watching. 
拜。